Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today is part two of our Weber WSM, Weber Smoky Mountain modifications. You guys stay tuned. We'll show you what we're going to be doing today. Check it out. So this is a short little video that you know I'm doing today. Uh, this is part two of our Weber Smoky Mountain modification. In my first video, uh, I'll link it right there. You know I went ahead and put the lid hinge and also put the casters uh, on the bottom. Uh, but today what we're doing, we're gonna be putting on some handles. You know the handles that go on the side are gonna help maybe move it around, or if I gotta take that midsection off. So I got these handles. Uh, at, at Home Depot and these are ever this is just generic door handles uh, made by ever 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 built six and a half inch they had some other ones that were smaller uh, and, and this is the reason I went with these only two holes the other ones had two holes on this side two holes on this side of the handle so I would have you know I'd be making four holes on the side of my uh, Weber Smoky Mountain Reason, reason I went with this only two holes and, and they were a little bit bigger okay so you know that's why I went with these and I also got these little eye bolts these eye bolts are also made by uh, Everbuilt let that focus right there Everbuilt and these are quarter inch by 20 by 4 inch so these are 4 inches and it's a quarter 20 thread so and and it comes with with two of these inside the package and it only comes with two of the nuts all right so i had you have to buy you know a couple of extra uh nuts and i also got some some lock washers and where i'm going to use these at i'm going to use these on the on the vents the weber smoky mountain has three vents on the bottom and it has one vent on the top so you you're gonna need a total of uh, four of these eye bolts if you decide to do uh, the eye bolts and 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 the reason you want to do this is because when that thing is fired up and it's going those little vents um, the, the metal part of it gets hot and it's and it's too hot to touch so you're gonna have to you know if you don't have maybe an extension on it you're gonna have to grab a rag or something so you can fine-tune it plus this gives you the ability uh, where it's away from the metal and you can easily grab it with just two fingers and fine-tune your your adjustment on your Weber Smoky Mountain, you know, to, you know, bring the temperature up inside or lower the temperature. Either way, I've seen plenty of other YouTubers uh, do this. I don't know if they use thigh bolts. They might have just used regular bolts, but, you know, I like the eye bolts. So, got that. Some lock washers. So, total four eye bolts, two, four, six, eight, quarter, twenty, uh, nuts and four lock washers is what we're going to be using for that extension that we're going to put on the vents you guys let's go do it so we got four holes we got to drill and each one of these vents is exactly the same so all i need to show you uh one and what i'm going to do on the top vent uh since my bolt is, is is four inches long i can't put it up here because you know it would hit with the handle so i'm gonna just put it down here and I have to drill a small hole. And I'm using the same uh, drill bit that came with uh, the leg kit, okay, in my other video. You know, they, they throw in this uh, drill bit. So I'm just gonna drill a small hole up on the bottom side. And this is soft metal, so, you know, it goes fairly easy. There we go. And I also have a, a file. I want to file these edges down. This one wasn't too bad. So once we got that hole drilled, we take our eye bolt, 
drop our first quarter 20 in there put our lock washer and put our second quarter 20 up on top and then it's just a matter of tighten it down and you want to be careful uh, with this because this is a soft uh, aluminum you know so and all we're trying to do is just just that right there so now I have me I don't have to touch this when it gets too hot got me a little extension on it and boom done deal okay just got three more to do so we got these four eye bolts put on uh, simple job four little holes you got to drill you know with the with that um, drill bit you do I do want to say you want to be careful because the metal on the vents are, is, is a soft aluminum so uh, if you press too hard you could bend it over uh, just go light with the drill the drill bit will eat right through it no problem and you know and then just don't forget to file it down on the back side break off any of them little shavings and you should be good to go so got them done fairly quickly no big deal all that's left now is to put these two handles and see how that comes out just wanted to show you this uh, really quick these uh, handles right here this edge was at a sharper 90 you know these are designed to go on a flat surface so um, and obviously the Weber Smoky Mountain is not a flat surface the thing is is round so I had to uh, take a sledgehammer and just you know I just put it on on my tree stump out there where I split my wood and I opened it up a little bit that way it fits nice and round then it just takes a couple of little wax at it open it up a little bit and you should be good to go okay so the handles are done four holes two on each side no big deal I actually used uh, uh, the grill grate to center them you know because the grill grate let me see where the grill grate uh, the grill grates already got these perfect straight right angles on it so I used the grill grate to line them up across from each other and I put the level and I, I wasn't too short you know how far down should I put the put the handle and and I was thinking about just breaking out the tape measure and measuring two inches down and I said no nah, forget that so all I did was just grab my level used it as a spacer and it's the same distance on the other side and on top of that then I used, uh, you know, I said, well, what am I going to use to hold it in place while I'm drilling? So I grabbed my DeWalt C-clamp and clamped it down, held it in place, drilled two holes through it, and it was a done deal. Couple of screws, couple of lock washers, couple of nuts, using my 716 wrench, put this handle on it. And let me tell you, uh, Putting the handle on the midsection allows for an easier roll because before you didn't have any place to grab it and you're probably reaching for the top. Well, you know, when you reach for the top, you know, you can still get it to roll, but there's a there's more of a chance of it tipping over. So why doesn't Weber put these handles on it? Maybe they do. I don't know if they got a, another version where they put handles on it, but man, these handles. <laughs> Uh, make it so easy and convenient uh, it's going to be interesting to see how hot these handles get when um, you know when I light a bag of charcoal in there and stuff but anyhow that's the the handles the vents are all done work perfectly you know I can not have to bend all the way down I can just get to uh, you know just reach down there and grab the handle and turn it a little bit and it's good to go so two modifications done today got the handles put on the vents and got the handles put on the midsection so these are the the two mods for this week this is the part two and uh, I was thinking about doing that third mod I got one more mod one more modification that I want to do to it but I'm just running out of time and this video is going to be too long so guess what there's going to be a part three 
uh, Weber Smoky Mountain modification. But anyhow, I'm happy. I like it. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying myself. And uh, I can't wait to get all these mods done and fire it up and smoke something in it. So it'll be good. It'll be an experience. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyhow, guys, I tell you what, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, right there in the corner, there's a little subscribe button. Let me move my web back in here, that way it gets in the picture. Click on that subscribe button. Okay, I really appreciate it. It helps support this channel. Uh, I also have a website, and I'll put a link right here, you know, that'll take you to my website where I, where I sell my products. Uh, I sell barbecue rubs and sauces. You know, those things help support this this channel um, and if you're interested in any of those you know just feel free to buy some you know I would appreciate it but besides that guys uh, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and I will see you on the next cookout or on the next adventure or on the next modification I will talk to you guys later take care I love you